there, my loyal Pokebox 5 subscribers. Today I play Pokemon vs. Matthew plays Pokemon, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. It's a little cup match, and oh, I'm using my new little cup team. I guess this team isn't that new, but it's newer than my other little cup team. He leads off with a smooch as I lead off with my Edgar Rice, my Sandshrew, and uh, so I'm not sure why he went for this hidden power. I mean, don't smoochums usually carry, like, I don't know, Ice Beam? But whatever, uh, let me set up my rocks, maybe he was printing me to switch into someone else. But I've got my rocks up, he's gonna switch out into his Pineco, which actually I'm gonna switch out as well. Uh, I'm gonna call back Edgar Rice and I'm going to send out my IBM, my little Ponyard, which is colored blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Iron Head, try to get the flinch. Uh, whatever. Uh, and indeed I get the flinch, so that's really lucky for me. I go for another Iron Head just to take him out, and that's excellent. So down goes that little pine coat. Did I think he was super effective or something? I, I guess I was just hoping for the damage and worried that he was going to explode or something, or set up rocks. I don't know. Anyway, predict the very obvious fighting type move, send out into Emily. So he actually went for the dynamic punch, so that's great for me. I go for the acrobatics, not sure why my opponent was not predicting some sort of flying type move, or not sure what else he was trying to do against me, maybe payback. Anyway, acrobatics takes him out. I've gotten my speed boosted, thanks to losing that item. Now out is going to come his little, uh, happening. I just go over the hidden power fighting, just to see how much it does. It does slightly less than half, and he goes for the thunder wave. So, well, that's not great, but uh, I'm not quite ready to switch out, and frankly, Emily, once paralyzed, is kind of useless. He's going to go for the Zen Headbutt and hope for the flinch, and indeed gets the flinch, but I'm actually taking that hit quite well. Goes for the Fire Puncher, not sure why I switched, but maybe thinking I would switch. I go for the Acrobatics just to see if maybe even on the physical side it would be better. Yeah, uh, that did, well, actually, that did about the same, uh, to be honest. Anyway, I survive on one. I don't get any para hacks. That's excellent. I take out his core, his uh, happening. Happening is really not that threatening in Little Cup. I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it's not like you have to ignore it. But it's not as bulky as you think it might be. So anyway, I'm just going to be taken out here from this little tiny, cute little teddy or so. You just kind of pick it up and just nugget it. Uh, out's gonna come IBM. Uh, I'm gonna go for the super effective brick break. Not gonna fool around. Just gonna take it out. No, no, uh, no worries there. My IBM does not carry the substitute, and I didn't really feel like going for the sword stand, so well, anyway. Out is going to come his Mantike. Uh, I actually go for the sword stance here, expecting him to try to set up. Uh, I'm not sure what I did there. Oh yeah, so he goes for the agility. I was kind of expecting the agility. I don't know what, what I was thinking. But anyway, here I go for the sucker punch. BAM! Soup, not super effective, but it's stab uh, at plus two. I take him out pushing him quite well, and now he's down to smooch him again, and he's just gonna run, uh, and this is gonna be the end of the battle. So, great game, Matthew Plays Pokemon. Uh, hope you folks enjoyed it. So long.